In his early years at school, Gary was very quiet and didn't have many friends. He was undiagnosed dyslexic and often struggled in school. He discovered that he could make friends by making people laugh. He discovered that his hilarious impersonations of animals would cheer up his sick mother, who was bedridden at the time. But then, his tough poverty-stricken childhood began. Gary's father was forced to move on site at a factory in exchange for the labor of the entire family. Exhausted, Gary would go to school and then work eight-hour shifts at night. He added that working an eight-hour day in a factory after school left him want to bash somebody's head in. He ended dropping out of high school. His family decided that their surroundings were taking them to the wrong direction, so they packed up and moved to Canada with no job in sight. His parents and two siblings lived in a beat-up yellow Volkswagen camper van for a full eight months parking in campgrounds. So you can imagine his emotional baggage, the loss of his teen years, feeling intellectually backward, the embarrassment and hardships of poverty. So, how his life changed? He moved to LA shortly after where he would park on Moonholland Drive every night and visualize his success. One of these nights he wrote himself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered, which he dated for Thanksgiving 1995. Just before that date, he hit his payday with Dumb and Dumber. He put the deteriorated check which he'd kept in his wallet the whole time, in his father's casket. So many of us choose our path out of fear disguised as practicality. What we really want seems impossibly out of reach and ridiculous to expect, so we never dare to ask the universe for it. I'm the proof you can ask the universe for it. I learned many great lessons from my father, not the least of which was that you can fail at what you don't want, so you might as well take a chance in doing what you love. Jim Carrey used his hard times and setbacks to motivate him to try harder. He could have turned to drugs and drinking. What about us? Do we sit around fretting about what we lack or how life has dealt us a bad hand of cards? Or do we take what we have and make something out of it? What's your story? <laughs>